heavyweights. Heavyweight showdown. Junior Tafa, number four, taking on Jihad Kapenik. Tafa, six foot three, 358. Kapenik, six foot five, 256. And he'll have a three inch reach advantage. With professional experience, very close to fight edge. Goes to Kapenik, KO power. Goes to Junior Tafa, a lot of those coming in that first round. These two big men will battle it out. Three three-minute rounds in Glory's heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. His Glory debut came three years ago in Copenhagen at Glory 29. As a professional, 21 wins with five losses. 15 of those wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.95 meters, he weighed in at 256.4 pounds, 116.3 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Istanbul, Turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jihad, the Ottoman Kepeni. His opponent opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a New Zealand national champion. His professional record stands at 20 wins with four losses. 16 of those 20 wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.91 meters. He weighed in at 258.6 pounds, 117.3 kilograms. He's here tonight, all the way from Brisbane, Australia. Please make him feel welcome. It's Junior, the Juggernaut, Tafa. And once again, your referee, Big John Axwood. Kapanik said, listen, I know Junior Taffa has great hands, but his legs aren't that great. I will low kick him until I break my feet. Okay, guys, you both know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. I want a clean fight. Shake hands. Blinking, you might miss it. Taffa says he's going head hunting right from the opening bell. He wants a walk off KO. Can he get it? against the massive Jihad Kapenik. There's that forward pressure already. You're gonna see him move pretty well too, and he says he's been working his kicks, so let's see what Tafa can bring. Tafa not intimidated by any of the big guys. He says he fights in his garage with his brothers, who are both 300 plus pounds. Ooh, just missing with that right hand. Yeah, and Kapenik's a guy that'll sit in the pocket and fight with you. This is why it's an exciting matchup. Tafa trying to bait him in right now. Sharp eyes from Tafa. Just getting outside, but another yeah. low blow. What? Usually Tafa has a lot of bad things to say about his opponent, but he actually liked Kapenik, who came up after Tafa's last fight and said, hey man, let's hang out. So they hung out, watched some fights, shared some laughs, and now they're fighting. And Kapenik's dropping some good power. Oh, nice jab there by Tafa. Gets the Turk off balance. Yep, now they're starting to get more comfortable. That friendliness is going away. Tafa has trained many times Bridge, with back. kickboxing legend Mark Hunt. He has been part of many of his camps, too. Spent time in Thailand with him. And even for this fight, he dropped some weight. Yeah, Tafa in the best condition we've seen him in. And he's got a fresh haircut, as you may have seen on Inside Glory, on our Glory YouTube page. Gives you behind the scenes exclusive access to these fighters. Make sure you check it out before each Glory numbered fight. Be calm before the storm here. Tafa would love to see Kapenik get comfortable and start throwing hands with him. Yeah, especially when he gets comfortable with the hands, the chin could rise a little bit. That's where those counter punches from Tafa can do work. But I'd like to see Tafa maybe keep mixing in those low kicks, maybe attack the body. Oh, 
good output so far from Kapenik. Trying to stay busy, trying to be first, and trying to evade those Tafa counter punches. Already though, Kapenik with his mouth open, breathing heavily. You can hear it from over here where we're sitting. Really patient start from Tafa so far. Yeah. Maybe he hears that breathing too and says, listen, I'm going to get him here in round two or three. Just keep throwing your hands, keep working, get tired, my man. And he's getting comfortable. You see him mixed to that Philly oh. shell. Overhand right, but it was Kapenik who landed the left hook. Whoa, big right hand connects. That's what Tafa's been waiting for. And another one, and the bell coming just in time for Kapenik. Yeah, Tafa needed something there for some confidence. And especially to score well on the card at the end. See that friendship and intensity at the end there. Yeah, they might be friends, but they still want to knock each other out. Just like me and you. That's it. He is the juggernaut. Good boxer with quick feet for a heavyweight. Do you agree with that assessment? I do. You, you see it light and bounce a little bit, but he's most successful when he pressures forward. And those were his two brothers that he fights with daily in the garage. If Kapenik, known as the Ottoman, best moves of those hooks and uppercuts. The uppercut could be a good ring for him. Uh, sorry, a good move for him here tonight. He's got to mix it up. Good hook so far. Try to keep mixing those kicks and uppercuts. Ooh, overhand right, perfectly timed by Tafa. Yep, that's the shot. There goes level change with that left hand, too. Three judges giving round one to Tafa, two to Kapenik. Tafa not even breathing heavily. No, nope, seems really calm. Just signed a new contract with Glory. He's very happy. Break, step Must back. be part of this organization as he throws not Kapenik enough. to the ground. Uh, fight. Tafa nearly 80% accuracy in total strikes so far. But his best punch is that overhand right. Greg, step back. You know, Kapenik promised to basically break Tafa's legs with his low kicks. He's almost completely abandoned that strategy. Yeah, he's really gets really, you know, comfortable with his hands, always coming forward. But when he does throw his low kicks, they are landing. We did see some knees from him. Well, it's turned into a boxing contest, and you would think that would favor Junior Tafa. Ooh, Junior really wound up for that uppercut. It's just impressive to see who Tafa has fought so far in glory. You know, he already has a fight with Gudo Innocent. Benjamin Attic boy, Jamal Ben Sadiq. Ooh. So hopefully he's not overlooking Kapenik after Great, fighting such big back. names. Yeah, winding it, lowering his hands, eating a couple shots. Good eyes from Kapenik. His hero, his idol, Mark Hunt, used to do that. His fight with Ray Seppo, legendary, as Hunt put his hands around his waist and let Seppo punch him multiple times. Good combination work from Kapenik, mixing uppercuts and hooks. Good round here for Kapenik. We thought he might tire out, or at least I did, but he's showing no signs of that right now. It seems like that first round was a good warm-up round for him. Now he's kind of picking his shots, playing the game a little bit more now, moving his head, trying to get off center line, but don't get too comfortable. Because that overhand right from, you know, Taffer can come any second. Break, step back. Right now, Tafa's really gone to that overhand right. Now would be a good time to try to mix in his left hook. We saw him go to the body with that left hook once. Oh, nice combination for Kapenik. Yep, that flow work is working well for him, not relying on one shot power. Keep touching. This is definitely the Ottomans round here. Oh, another left hook. Tafa's got his hands down. Whatever the strategy is here by Tafa, it is not working in round two. Well, that's more of a frustrating round for him, but I think it's that volume of Kapenik, which is shelling him up. And Kapenik keeps, you know, evading that the counter punch. So you can't just rely on one punch. 
Yeah, right off the start, Kapenic throws a jab. Junior Taffa comes right over, but that was the only pretty much big shot for Taffa. Perfect shot, head off center line, overhand versus jab. But the biggest story in this round was Kapenic really picking his shots, not overthrowing things with power. He's putting things in combination. He's mixing these uppercut hooks, which have been working really well for him. Especially when Junior Taffa shelled up with his hands like that, the uppercut and the hooks there all day for Kapenic. So you would think this is a must win round for Junior Taffa. The problem is, Tafa's only relying on one punch. You gotta have some different tools. That's where, you know, the experience comes from. If you can't throw your right hand, you gotta have kicks, you gotta have some punches with the left hand. There's a little bit more striking diversity from Tafa. No surprise there, all five judges giving it to Kopenic. Total scores, well, two for Kopenic. Three have it even, so it can still be one here for Tafa. The final three minutes will determine it. And we already saw a couple low kicks from Tafa, so that was probably what his corner was telling him. Try to mix it up. Kapenic back with that hook uppercut combinations that working really well for him. Yeah, you know, I, I need to apologize to Kapenic. I said he looked like he might be out of shape in round one, but he's proving he was anything but as he lands another shot. Yeah, he looks really good. Doubling up his left hook. Good combination work. And look at the discrepancy of thrown head punches. 150 to 55. He decided to box with Tafa, and so far he is winning this boxing match. Just waiting for Tafa to explode at some point, aren't we? Yeah, I just don't know if he has it right now. Stop. Turn around. Yeah, Tafa looking up at the clock, minute and a half to go. Yeah, really liking that double left hook from Kapenic. Boy, Kapenic just bullying Tafa around right now. Look at this unanswered activity. And good striking angles. You see him mix the body uppercuts, back to the head, back to the body. Is it just conditioning? for Tafa right now? Is that what it looks like? Well, it could be. I mean, when you're throwing everything you have behind one punch and it doesn't land, I mean, it takes a lot of energy to power punch. That's why you got to mix them in with this type of punching. You know, you, got, you can't just throw every strike with power. So as you get more experienced in combat sports, you can change the intensity Ooh, of Oh, there's a strike. right hand that lands. Not the typical power that Tafa brings with it. There's one. That's what I would like to see from Tafa. Hit the body more. Oh, there's an uppercut. Oh, one, two. And all of a sudden, it was like Kapanik was uh, paralyzed and couldn't get his hands up. A good moment there for Tafa. He needs a couple more of those here in the final 40 seconds. Oh, he's turning his body into all those punches now. He has to. Yep, that's the best way to get as much weight as you can behind your punch. Turn your hips, turn the shoulder into the punch. At this point, Tafa might need a knockdown. There's a jab. A rare low kick from Kaepernick. Kaepernick. And again, Kaepernick oh, just unloading. That combination Ten work is seconds. Tafa needs to let it all hang out. But does he have anything left to hang out with? Doesn't appear so, and Jihad Kapenik has come in here and apparently beaten the heavily favored Junior Tafa. Yeah, and he looked good doing it. I mean, first round ate some good shots, but just really impressed the way he changed the intensity of his punches, mixed levels, mixed those uppercuts. Strong fight for Kapenik. And he beat Tafa at his own game. Came in saying he was going to throw uh, non-stop low kicks midway through the first round, abandoned that strategy, and just boxed with the boxer. Yep, and it worked. It worked really well, especially in those last two rounds. The decision when we return to Utrecht's Holland. Welcome you back as we jump right into the highlights of this one. Round one, a close one, but after that, it was all about Kapenik. Yep, Junior Tafa got really aggressive with that overhand right, landed it really well too. Many times in that first round, we thought he could have easily gotten the knockout, known for his first round knockout finishes, but the second round, things started to change a little bit. Tafa started slowing down, didn't have as much power in that right hand. 
We saw Kopenic really come forward, picking his shots, mixing levels, and putting strikes in combination, and that was the key for him. You saw him mixing good hooks, good uppercuts. There, Tafa landed a good one. That was his best moment in the third round, but you can see Jihad Kopenic really happy with his performance. Now looking at this, there's a strikes by round. Round one was Tafa, really good with that right hand, but two and three, we thought Kopenic would have been gassed after that first, but he found the second win and really did well in that second and third round. The strike count punches for both of these gentlemen. You saw a little bit more kicks and knees out of Kopenic, but it's that volume striking that put that most of the scoring on for those punches. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Three of our judges score the bout 29-28. The two remaining judges have it 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Jihad Kepene! Jihad, congratulations on your win. We have a translator here. You told us that you were gonna go with low kicks and just break his legs, but it seemed like your strategy changed and you decided to box with him. Why did you do that? Sen bize söyledin ki ben çok low kicklerle çalışacağım ama hiç low kick yapmadım. Boks mu oynadın oynadın? Anladım. Niye stratejini değiştirdin? Çünkü elleri benim kadar iyi değildi. Herkes boksunu iyi gösteriyordu ama boksu da iyi değil. Şimdi Junior Tafa gitti. Sıradaki rakibimi bekliyorum. Kim olursa fark etmez. He says, uh, when we were boxing, I uh, I saw that he was not very good in boxing, so I uh, go further with boxing. So uh, I'm waiting for the next contender. Well, he is a good boxer, but you made him look average tonight. Congratulations! Can't wait to see you again. Shihad Kapenik, everybody. There you have it, Jihad Kopenic looking very good in this fight, getting his first win in glory and, and a big upset. I mean, he was able to sit in there and do the best against a 